So let's get into this right off the rip. Before we bring our guest on, let's talk about what everybody wants to talk about. Mm -hmm. FTX. Wow. The debacle that happened. Um, I'm just pulling out my notes on this. So um, Sam Bank Free was uh, labeled the golden child of crypto. Mm -hmm. Uh, Young man who was the CEO or is the CEO of that exchange is a crypto exchange. He stepped down, didn't he? Oh, he's no longer the CEO? I mean, I think if you get on the plane and go to Argentina, you kind of quit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. in any event. Yeah. Uh, Former CEO. Yeah. Uh, uh, a crypto exchange called FTX. I think yes. they had the Miami Arena. Yeah. 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 You, formerly American Airlines, now FTX, but uh, they stripped it. The deal was like 10 years for $145 million or something like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's gone. Yeah, it's gone. So this is, all right. So this this is an interesting story. Just like a quick overview of what happened. Um, so massive amounts of withdrawal a request came in after um, a report was published mm. that uh, FTX owned a suspicious amount of FTT. FTT is FTX is native currency. It's like Binance coin would be for Binance. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I guess um, a report was published and um, it, it was it was a suspicious amount of coins that was being held by FTX as a result of that. Binance, the world's largest cryptocurrency uh, brokerage, yeah. announced that they would be selling their FTT token. Shout out CZ. Due to recent revelations, that caused a firestorm on sales of FTT tokens from the market because people were scared. They thought that it might hmm. fall apart and they didn't have enough liquidity to cover. Yeah. All of the people, all of the amount of money that was going to be taken out, Run on which the bank. caused the coin to collapse mm-hmm. in a day, which Bye. caused the exchange to collapse in a day, <laughs> which caused Mr. <laughs> Freeman to lose a, a 16 million, I believe. Billion. 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 16 With a billion. billion. 16 yeah. billion. With a billion. In a yeah. day. Yeah. And then Binance, it was reported that they was going to come bail them out. Then they decided that they wasn't going to bail them out. Um, so this has caused a black cloud over the crypto space. Mm-hmm. All cryptos were down. Um, and there was even something today I, I, that I had read about Crypto.com mistakenly sending $400 million in crypto mm-hmm. to a wrong exchange by accident. And, you know, it's just a lot of bad press, fear, uh, speculation that, you know, a lot of these places aren't solvent, that they, they're not, their books aren't clean and yeah. they don't have enough assets and it's caused a real, a real, you know, fire ripple effect in the crypt, in the crypto space. So, yeah. all right. That was my quick synopsis. So let's, let's get into this. What's the thoughts on this situation? Um, initially when I heard this, I, w- I intended to come in and go crazy. Loaded Lux. But now isn't the time for me to focus on me or be egotistical. And the first thing I want to start off with, something we talked about, and it's a lesson that stuck with me that you shared about a particular person who had a comment for someone and they came for him. Mm-hmm. Sam ended up getting into it with CZ of Binance. And he was the one who exposed they essentially had been running a Ponzi. Now, the interesting thing... Who, who was running a Ponzi? FTX. FTX. Okay. So... When the interesting thing, they put out a letter of intent to buy the company. They release part of the financials and 24 hours later say, hey, we don't want anything to do with the company as a way to expose. That's the part that they so a letter of intent. That part. When you send a letter of intent with no money, (laughs) no guarantees or when you're going to wire money. You're exposing all of your financials. That is a huge mistake. All right. oh, man. Go ahead. No, go ahead. There's go so ahead. much to unpack, right? Just yeah, in that. Just right? in that alone. Just in that, right? I, I think one of the biggest things is like know who your rivals are. Yes. Understand. And who be your careful rivals. who you offend. Be careful who you offend. Yes. Understand who your rivals are. Understand who your competition is in the space. The fact that Binance was even thinking about doing it, it, it felt on the surface like, wait, this doesn't seem right. Yeah. Right. And as soon as that happened, I put it in the th- the chat. I said, yo. They're going to back out this deal. Yes. But what they did was they made them show their hand. And when you show your hand, right, like, because mm-hmm. that's one of the things in, in the crypto space is like, they don't have to show their books at all. Who Who is the, who is the, the, the governing body that says, 
yes, you need to show the books. There isn't one. No, nope. right? especially if you live in the Bahamas. <laughs> especially, right? Yeah. So when you have to open up the books and the competitors now see it and they say, oh, wait, we're not doing this. And they pull the rug out. Now it feels like, wait, this was done super intentionally. Even in his tweets, if you look, if you look yeah. at Sam's tweets, yeah, he kind of, I think he kind of felt it after. Mm-hmm. He probably, like, wait, I just got played. Yeah. And, and it, it was sad to see. Like, it sounds crazy. But like, somebody is worth $15 billion on a Friday. Just think about that. And by Tuesday, they're down to 400,000 in net worth. No, no, 400, 400, 400 million. million. It was 800 million. 800 million. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. And then when they saw the books, they realized that the debt was six hundred fifty million. Mm-hmm. So they actually had he had negative net worth after after the week was over. The no, company, no, no, no. the company, not he, the company. He's personally worth eight hundred million dollars right now. Presently, okay, currently. So let's just he's <laughs> let's keep it on respect though. I, I, I mean, on a, or, or maybe he's not. Well, report we can only go by what the reports are saying. Yeah. New York Times reported that he lost ninety four percent of his wealth, which yeah. would still put him at eight hundred million dollars. So for how long though, hypothetically? He, and, and uh, now, now the other side of it, the strategy that he was running to do the Bitcoin arbitrage and buy it in a country and then move it here mm-hmm. was really smart. Um, he was setting up himself to be the Warren Buffett of crypto and he was trying to build companies out. But when you see some of the other things like, I mean, OK, I have to say anything that is too good to be true usually is no one can guarantee any kind of return legally. So to say, hey, I'm gonna get you 8% return a year or a month in itself is not legal. Secondly, when you have a company that is based in the Bahamas with no or little regulation, that is normally not a good sign. Mm -hmm. Number three, any person, product, entity, corporation, token, or coin that is advertised to be the savior of anything usually is a demon in disguise. And we've come across a couple, Mm -hmm. right? So even with me, like I can't guarantee knowing with all the information that I know, I'll never guarantee a return because I don't want to put myself in a legal bind there. And also going back to the trading part. So when you have a hedge fund and you're market making and you're watching your trades with leverage, you can manipulate the price of what that token is going to be, Mm -hmm. which is a huge mistake for him to even do because everyone in the space knows that that is illegal. But the bigger issue that we have to get to is the angel investors and venture capital companies that pushed for crypto and Web3 to be this enormous space because they needed another win. Mm. Um, and it's a very nuanced conversation that we can probably spend two or three weeks talking about. But the venture community has to start doing this on due diligence. So to see Sequoia put a bunch of money in and a bunch of other firms, I know at some point they had to say, well, this person's in this deal. I'm going to pile in because they are as well. And not to even mention, if they invested in the company, got equity there and got tokens, you got paid twice. So we have to be very careful. And I know everybody in crypto, I know you thought this Monday I was going to come out and be like, I told you so. It's not the time for that. But anything that is too good to be true usually is. The bigger issue that we have to really face is what are we going to do about the American economy? Because the desire for these high gains with no work is usually representative of the job market is not good. Mm. Amazon is laying off 10,000 people after Meta just laid off 11,000. That's a lot. Things are getting scary. What does it say for crypto though, right? Because I mean, there's there's a couple of things we can say. Obviously, We'll see the effect that it's had on Bitcoin. Obviously, it went under about 16,000. But Mm -hmm. is this now the moment? It feels like it could be. Maybe it's not that, all right, enough is enough. Regulation is on the way. Has to. I mean, honestly, if you think about it, and I won't even get into the political part of how much he donated to uh, the Democratic side. (laughs) So, and I would argue if he was a Republican, they would be running news 24 hours about how this was a Ponzi for the Republican Party. I'm neither Democratic nor Republican. But I just think it's interesting that when there were all these red flags there, no one said anything because he was a, a Democratic favorite. Um, what does it say for crypto? Regulation is going to come. And I truly believe a lot of these people will put in place buy banks and hedge funds to help destroy crypto so they, they, they can then take it up. Like, we have to be honest. This is a game of strategy and a game of war. This is not, no different than a penny stock era. This is no different than the Forex market. This is no different than the crypto market of 2016. We saw this happen before. 
um, with several companies that went out of business and then more regulation came in and the banks got more involved, we'll see the same thing again. Yeah, even from the side of, like I said, knowing who your rivals are, if you think about finance, yep. right, asking to see the papers and obviously backing out on the deal once they saw that, you know, the company wasn't making money, you get run to one exchange, mm -hmm. right? FTX is now gone. And just think about how widely popular they were, just really quick to give you context. They have four Super Bowl commercials. Which is also a sign that, like, honestly, any product is really good. You don't have to advertise like, like crazy. They they they, they dominated. dominated the Super Bowl. Yep. They had Tom Brady, had Steph Curry. They had all, I mean, just the publicity around it was big. So you, you take that one out. And now you hear Crypto.com mm -hmm. is in trouble. And so what does that do? Crypto.com is not in trouble. Well, the, the, the negative that. news, negative yeah, news. Yeah, no, I shouldn't say trouble. Yeah, we'll, we'll, say, we'll say that. I mean, but, but, but can we be honest? If we went to any of our moms or aunties and said, hey, this is what this token does. 99% of the time, our aunties or moms or dads are going to be like, that sounds like a scam. Right away. So all even all the decentralization talk. Okay, great. If crypto was supposed to be decentralized, why do you have a hedge fund that was marketing one thing, but the firm was doing another while bailing out? And then also where he really got into trouble was using the customer funds. And it goes back to trading. Those 300 practice trades are key. Mm -hmm. Risk mitigation is key. And we've all done it. We've all been in the trade and been like, I should only let this trade bleed down 20%. And it goes 35%. And it's like, oh, let me put more capital in. And I think that he thought he was never going to get caught. He was going to be able to bail out some other companies. And he was going to be able to work his way out of it. Um, this is a historical lesson on risk management. And same with Madoff. When you get away with it the first time, mm -hmm. if you ever seen Madoff's story, Madoff, I think his initial lie was less than $1,000 to a client. But the first time he got away with it, he never stopped. Mm -hmm. So, as you would say, I say that to say, yeah, risk management is everything. And we've all overtraded. We've all overcapitalized certain trades. Um, I hate that this happened. I, I hate, you know, yeah. th this has been exposed, but I've been telling everyone, if anything is too good to be true, it usually is. And if you want gains in the market, you have to work your ass off to be able to get them. They're not going to come easy yeah. from anybody. So that's, that's the kind of the point I was getting to was like, are you obviously as a competitor from Binance, this strengthens my position. Yes. Right. Like if FTX, I, I'm just the negative news around crypto.com. It's becomes a obvious who the, mm -hmm. I mean, they're the longest exchange now. Yeah. It just strengthens their, strengthens their position. Yeah. Not only as an exchange, but even the, the coin itself. I'd be interested to see. And then he's, now he's saying, okay, now I'm going to help bail out other right. funds if they get in trouble. So now he gets to be a savior and we have to also keep our eye out for Tether. Tether's on the ropes. And where's Tether based on us? Stable coin. Not quote really unquote. stable. Wait on. If, if our dollar isn't stable, how is something pegged to it stable? Yeah. Two tech, two index. In Australia. I know people hate hearing the same thing over and over again. Please put it in chat. Safety over sensationalism. Even a whole DeFi, you're not going to get 19% return a month. Like, I don't hear... Charlemagne or Steve Harvey or like Ellen being like, I found a crypto that's going to get because they would 50 will put all of its money from stars and power into that thing if it actually worked. Like we have to be careful when we when we're being marketed to. We're always used for liquidity. Be careful. Interesting time in crypto. This, this day. Red Panda Anthem. Ian, what's up? This day. Red Panda Anthem. Red Panda, what's this good? Day. Red Panda Anthem. <laughs> Boy. Going up, I know they can't stand it.